Jim, thank you. We are praying for you down in uh, Montgomery. You keep up a good fight for us. Uh, I am Alan Rhodes, and I wanted to just tell you a few minutes uh, about a story that we're going to produce about an hour and a half docudrama called The Aniston Project. My daughter Aniston was born seven years ago, it'll be eight years this March. Uh, when we were pregnant with my wife and I, uh, with, uh, with Aniston, we were told by the uh, doctors at Huntsville Hospital that she would have Down syndrome and that she would have a heart defect that uh, would mean she probably wouldn't live uh, through the birth. And she also would not have a fully uh, functioning digestive tract. And uh, of course, the first thing from the doctors at Huntsville Hospital who told us this was they handed us very coldly a piece of paper and said, here's your appointment. Go down the road here and it would be cruel to bring her into the world. But we're going to tell her story in about a 90-minute docudrama and uh, it published that nationally uh, and, uh, and get that out so that people can know that uh, she is a healthy, vibrant uh, little girl uh, that we love dearly. And I'll tell you, I found favor with God, my wife and I did, to be able to be blessed to have her in our household and we, we would not have, we couldn't miss a day without her. She crawled into bed this morning with me, you know, and, uh, and I just hugged her and, and realized, you know, what a, what a great joy it is to have her. Well, similarly, Adam, my son here, he was diagnosed with spinal bifida. And you can see he doesn't have it. He was born perfectly healthy. They told us as well, in, in his case, go aboard him. It would be terrible to bring this child into the world. And, uh, of course, with our upbringing, uh, with Christian parents and God's law written on our heart, we knew that was not the way to go. So we want to tell a story that says to people who are faced with that same kind of decision here, you know, our government gives us a choice, but our choice should be life. And uh, we chose life, and I can tell you, it's a blessing to have not only my son, but our Down syndrome daughter. And she dances at the Merrimack here. She's a, she goes to public school. And while she's nonverbal, you can tell she understands everything that goes on. Our church accepts her. She goes into a, her Sunday school class, and uh, they treat her just like any other kid in there. And, uh, and I know she knows and hears the Word of God, and we teach it to her daily. One last little story about her. We uh, at our church read through the Bible this entire year, and we would get it down and read, and Adam would read part of it, would listen to it, read through our iPhones on, on the, uh, the app that we had. Aniston would crawl up next to us, and sit there and listen to the Word of God. So if she can do that, we know that these children are very precious to us all. So the Aniston Project is actually starting today. There's a website for it. It's a Kickstarter project. We're looking for funding to be able to produce it. Uh, but uh, uh, go out there and look for that. I've got some flyers too later on. But thank you for being here. Thank you to all of our legislators that are here. Shadrach, thank you for coming all the way over from Scottsboro area. And uh, thank you for all of you who are standing on the front lines down here at the abortion clinic. And yes, we've got five, but let's have zero soon. Thank you. Yeah.